I ain't hearing nothing you saying. Man, this life stuff ain't easy. Things are difficult. Things take time. And yet we still are here in this latter year having a microwave effect, wanting things to go fast for us, wanting things to happen for us. But if we're not vibrating on that frequency, it's not going to happen. See, God has been leading you. And you may not even believe in a God. However, God is always a leading source for you to get in alignment with who you truly are. Just like that one saying, you can't serve two masters. Basically what they're saying, and they're not talking about the devil and Jesus, they're talking about you can't serve your ego and you also can't serve your higher self at the same time. You gotta choose which side is divine, and which side is just meaningless, nothingness that is just only emitting effort. Ego, exiting God out. The more you be in alignment with your higher self, that's you being in one with God. So even if you're atheist <laughs> and you're following your plan and path and purpose that's set on your life, you're following God. So you don't ever have to utter God's name because you are walking with God because God is in you. God is the essence of you because God is living through the body. That is the story of Jesus. Jesus said that I'm just here to show you who you truly are. And one day you will be even stronger and be able to do more than what I'm able to do. It's not literal as much as it is spiritual. Awaken your spiritual aspect so that you can see that, oh man, I didn't even train for this skill set, and yet I have it. I didn't train myself to sing, but yet I can sing. I didn't train myself to draw, and yet I can draw. I didn't even train myself to have patience, and yet I'm able to sit through this turmoil and still apply pressure because I'm uniquely me in this day and time. Israel, awaken the Israel within you. Isis, Ra, El, El, Elohim, Elohim, God of gods. And basically you're just a master of yourself, master of your body, master of your heart, master of your mind. You control your thoughts. You control each and every part of you. You call on your angels when need be. You even send love to God. You even apologize on behalf of the people to God because you know that it's time for humanity to grow. It's time for things to change. God, I don't hate them, but they do not know what they do because you told me to not hate them. I love you, God, and I send, God, and I send love to you, God. I am thankful and I am ready to live in a state of gratitude. Pray on a day-to-day -day basis and you will see what I mean. Learn different skill sets as far as how to control yourself, control your emotions, control your thoughts, and control the habits that no longer serve you, and you will also see what I mean. Remove people that no longer serve you and start surrounding yourself with where your heart is trying to lead you, even if you don't want to talk to them. Because there's some people out here, they don't want to bring in the positive aspects, and it's not about being happy all the time, it's about having the right people in the right situations happen for you, to you, through you, and around you. I hope this helps. Good day.